Hi there, it's Dr. Bernstein, the founder and president of Get Yourself Into College. And in this video, I really want to show you how you can use Evernote, a free resource, to stay organized when you're in the research phase of your college application process. In a separate video, I'll show you how to actually set up Evernote. Um, but here I want to show you how to navigate, how to use it, because it's so easy to get overwhelmed with information when you're doing res research on your schools, and then you sort of forget where everything was because every college website is different. So here we are, we're looking at the NYU homepage. NYU is my alma mater, so I just decided to use it today for an example. And let's just say you're in this phase where you're checking out the websites of the schools that you're interested in. So we'll go over to undergraduate education. And let's just say we want to take a look. We're intrigued by the Gallatin School of Individualized Study, which is where I studied. <laughs> and we'll click on the link. And then let's just, we'll say it will go to ad undergraduate admissions. And we're getting a nice snippet here about what the school is about and what's possible. But then you have these student profiles, which are great to read about. Um, so you get a sense of who's at the school, what type of work people are doing, and um, you know how you might fit in. Sometimes even it opens your eyes to possibilities. So let's just say we were interested in Melissa Bean, who is combining cultural anthropology, sociology, psychology, literature, and creative writing for her Galton concentration, which is like a major, called Deviance and Social Control social control realities and representations so let's just say we want to save it well with Evernote once you download it you download the web clipper and you click on this little elephant icon over here and you can clip the article or the full page we'll just clip the article right now and we're just gonna leave that the way it is for a moment <laughs> and we'll go over to academics and Let's say we're really we're curious about what our first year is going to be like there. So this tells you, okay, you're going to be doing an interdisciplinary seminar, and they're giving you sample of the the first year course program courses uh, for fall 2012, which might not be your year, but it's good to look here to see if these things sound right to you. So let's just say that we're very interested in. Um, love and trouble and this raises um, all sorts of issues about um, you know, what kinds of love are essential to our well-being and why does love so often go wrong and what's great here too is like a lot of times you can click on and check out a syllabus which I think is a great way to learn about different schools and what's required of you. Um, so let's let's just save this. Say we're interested in this seminar. If you have to write a supplemental essay about why you feel like this is a good fit for you, this school, you could mention specific courses that you've noticed. And let's Let's just say, you know what, you're, we're not going to read the whole thing now, but we want to have access to the syllabus so we can look at it close in, in greater detail later. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, if I, if I were a high school student, I would create my Evernote notebook with different notebooks for each school so I could stay really organized. So let's just, um, I'm going to move all of these two that we've just clipped over to my NYU notebook. It's very, as you can see, it's very easy. I'm going to move it to the NYU notebook. And then we'll go in. So I want to show you. Now we have our notes here and they're saved. So you can just easily, um, just you're going to have to click on the link to see the um, syllabus. But you can see the course description that you saved. You can see the description of the particular student. You'd probably want to save the description of the program itself. And this way you always have this information. You've clipped this page from the web and put it into your 
online notebook to stay organized. So that's it for now. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install Evernote and get started right away. So that's it for now. Take care. Bye.